welcome home, welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, of course, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of the Hottie Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Again, it feels so good to have you here. Let's just go ahead and dive right in, you guys. There's a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. So first things first, Jupiter, the planet's planet of abundance, and the guru of that rules our higher knowledge finally is going direct you guys in the sign of aquarius also mercury the planet that rules communication moving bits and pieces um and our ability to understand things and understand what people are saying and be able to articulate ourselves <laughs> is finally also moving direct on the 18th which is the time that is that i'm filming this now, these retrogrades, you guys already know, have been quite messy. This is one of the more heavier retrograde cycles, mostly because most of the heavier planets, for example, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, um, and Neptune, and also Chiron, have all been retrograde, and then you throw Mercury re retrograde into the mix. Mercury retrograde typically has a notorious reputation for kind of messing things up, bringing back things of the past that we have to kind of revisit and sort things out. But because of the placement and the positioning of these planets in such intense signs and moving retrograde and then squaring off with each other, this is something that's been going on for the last few years. But this, this year, this time, the intensity and the magnitude of this retrograde has been something that we can't escape even if we wanted to so i i have to tell you guys you know when i'm pulling the charts and when i'm pulling cards i don't just go by the traditional meanings and symbolism of the, the planets as they connect with each other i really spend a lot of time diving intuitively into the charts and i have to say that before i even start telling you about the major trans trends that are happening this week for for all of us there is this huge message that spirit is clearly articulating. I not, and it's so loud in my ear that I was actually this morning, I was getting, pulling the chart and getting organized and I actually met up with some friends over coffee. It was beautiful, beautiful morning. Finally here um, where I live, the weather kind of like cooled down. So I did agree to migrate away from my normal routine um, and link up with some friends this morning and just sit outside. And as I was pulling the charts, spirit was speaking so loud that I don't want to say that it drowned out what was going on around me, but I was surprised that with as many distractions as there were, how clear this message was coming through. And the message is saying that you do not want to backslide. You do not want to take steps backwards it's so interesting that this is what's coming through because if I'm being honest, retrogrades traditionally, the retrograde itself is about taking steps back, right? Um, that's what a retrograde is. It's about retracing your steps, rebuilding, re reconstructing, renewing, revisiting things, events, conversations in your life. It's so interesting that spirit this week is saying, just talk to them about making sure that you are not sliding back. What does this mean? Because I really did have a full-blown conversation. I was pretty much journaling it while I was at the coffee shop. Spirit is saying that a lot of events that are that have occurred in your life during the retrograde cycle, especially with the, within the last three to four and a half weeks, were situations and circumstances that you had to be discontent with. You had to be uncomfortable with. This was something that was non-negotiable and that was going to have like it was faded it was very karmic it is kind of re um, reminding me of like four of cups energy where you are just bored you're discontent with something or a few things because the way the chart is situated I can see it being more than one maybe even three major things within your life that you just know in your heart and soul they could be better you know and can sense that they can be better the retrogrades this year this time are were eventful in the sense that they were making a lot of people bored and so frustrated. There's this high, strong sense of frustration that was just so loud. It was so obnoxious. 
And as crazy as that seems, a lot of you guys started questioning yourselves. Am I on the right path? Am I in the right relationship? Am I doing the right things? Am I, the, am I all that I can be? You're meant to be frustrated. You're meant to be discontent. You're meant to be rubbed raw, so to speak, right? Because these were the things that were set into place by spirit in order to create internal change first. And this is where it gets tough because you'll be so uncomfortable internally that it'll be just enough for you to be like, I got to get the heck out of here. I cannot do this any longer. And spirit says, finally, I understand that you're uncomfortable right now. I understand that you do not like this, but now you are back on track. Spirit is saying it's unbelievable how, I don't know if unbelievable is the right word, but I'm going to use it for lack of better back of lack of a better term right now but it we will make it so unbelievable so obnoxiously unbelievable how uncomfortable you are to be in order for you to understand how much you're actually on the right track some of you guys keep hearing all the time especially from the spirituality community if you're at bliss if you're at one with your center if it feels good then you are right you are aligned so when you start to feel uncomfortable when you start to feel discomfort when you start to feel frustrated you'll you'll be thinking in your head what am I not doing right and spirit is clearly telling me to tell you guys um earlier this morning that this discomfort and this frustration that it was that you were feeling especially with Mars squaring off with Pluto especially with Mars that was squaring off with Saturn this is long um you're gonna be moving into it but it you're also walking out of it I'm not gonna lie to you um, this level of irritation and frustration with Sun squaring off with Pluto happening, Sun, Mars, and Mercury squaring off with Pluto and Saturn um, within the last few few weeks, these are really, really intense, highly ir irritating transits. This is enough to break down even the most stubborn of human beings. This is enough to break down the person who says, you know what? I cannot do anymore because this has always been my situation. So I'm just going to accept the status quo and just call a spade a spade. It is what it is. And spirit says, all right, bet. Hold on to that theory. Hold on to that belief because that's the same thing that is I'm going to actively destroy. It's going to crumble in your hands. This could be a relationship. This could be a career. This could be you giving up on your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your goals. Spirit, the universe, the planets does not allow you to be complacent ever. And that level of irritation is the very thing that is going to set the ball into motion now i'm highly um amped up right now you guys it, the fact that i even have energy right now is actually kind of odd but it's not me it's not coming from me believe me i'm actually tired today i'm pretty exhausted um this weekend was amazing amazing filled with blessings but you know it's kind of exhausting nonetheless this is definitely not coming from me is what is it i'm saying it's it's all this energy is coming from the the excitement that is that i'm sensing from spirit right now in order to get this message out to you guys and once again i hate to like break my flow of channeling but i'm reminded of how grateful i am to have you guys i'm so reminded about how grateful i am to have the youtube channel and how i am to have you guys tune in i just honestly like I understand that you're watching me right now, but it feels like we're always connecting every single time. And I, I genuinely appreciate that. Like it goes, the gratitude goes so deep. As I'm saying that my crown chakra is like definitely tingling. Anyways, um, so thank you. Moving forward though, my loves, I, I do want to say like the reason why I feel that spirit is saying, listen, do not backtrack is because you have come too far right now to turn back, right? So there are some things that have come into your life that, for example, a past connection or a past conversation or a past opportunity or whatever the case is, of course, that was triggered by Mercury retrograde, Saturn, um, Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, because all those planets just only recently went direct, not even a lie, starting last week. So there are definitely some opportunities um, that would have come through, some interesting conversations, some interesting developments. And also, this was the year for relationships totally breaking down and also your own self-love and your own identity, your own sense of self <laughs> that was crumbling. For a lot of you guys, you're probably like waking up feeling really heavy sometimes, like who am I? But then a part of you is kind of freed, but a part of you is still kind of experiencing pain. Let me know down in the comments because I'm looking at the chart. I could see it. I could feel it. It's a really complex layering of emotions and feelings and thoughts, you guys. I mean, imagine all of what it is that I'm saying, and then this is like your reality. You know, this is our reality. So how do you articulate that? You know, so it's kind of like me just kind of pulling out of the mouth of spirit and just kind of giving words to what is that you guys have been probably feeling for a minute that maybe you're having a hard time, again, putting into words, but that's why I'm here. <laughs>
they don't call Virgos uh, messengers of the gods for no reasons. Um, not to speak up crazy for myself, but we also have the lover's card here and the nine of cups is standing out here. So this is telling me right away before I dive into my next point that there have been aspects, the word that spirit just told me is fractured. There have been aspects of your relationships um, because each individual person or aspects of opportunities, circumstances, blessings, you know, things like that, that have been individually separated, they have been fractured, right? So this doesn't have to represent a person. It's the choices, the, the decisions that we're making for ourselves in this life, right? The the options that spirit gives to us that says, yo, what do you want to do with this? What do you want to build with it? How does this feel? And some of those choices and decisions, again, they're not always pleasant. They don't always feel good. They They do require some level of sacrifice sometimes. And what does that mean? That means that in order for you to be successful, in order for you to go further in this, you're going to have to cut out this distraction. You're going to have to be consistent. You're going to have to be reliable. You're going to have to show up. You're going to have to invest. Whatever the case is, okay? Fill in the blank and how it fills in with your life, right? So there are aspects of these things that are coming together right now that have been, had to have been fractured first. I'm pretty sure it was last week I was talking about all these things getting blown apart. It was last week. It was all of these things, all of like this thing over there that was blown apart, blown apart to smithereens and something about that put all the pieces of the puzzle together this week or the weekend, over the weekend, right? And something about that was absolutely, it had to have been so uncomfortable for that thing or that person in order for there to be a, a total call, a total rebirth, a total judgment call. I'm surprised the judgment card isn't here, but it that's just has it written all over. It's like a massive revelation within a person that says, I cannot do this anymore or a massive revelation within the company that says this position needs to be filled or this position needs to be created or the massive revelation between your health that says I cannot do this to my knee, my back, my bones, my teeth, my eyesight any longer. So emphasis on those things or your organs, your internal organs and how they process things, your kidneys. Those are things that it is that I'm seeing within the chart. Your lungs, smoking. Some of you guys are quitting smoking because you've had, you cough, like something triggers it and you say, absolutely not. I'm looking at the chart and I can see the body or too much sugar, diabetes, those types of things. This is over, it's this energy of something that was long overdue, something that was long, you know, you know, um, should have been changed a long time ago. And then finally, something creates that breakdown that says, okay, I, I can't, I can't. Not even, can I not? I don't want to do this anymore. This does not feel good. The risk and things that is that I have to lose, now I'm understanding is just far too great. And actually, as I'm saying this, you guys, I just happen to have the Shiva and Shakti um, picture here. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about this, but these are the aspects of masculine and feminine energy coming together um, and how they kind of work and intertwine respect for each other. Um, and this also like level of like moderation and rebuilding life and creating new life, whatever. Um, look it up if you if you need to. Uh, so I don't know if you guys know this, but my we studied a lot, my mom and I, we studied a lot of Indian spirituality, African spirituality, um, island spirituality, which of course is inspired by the islands, um, and then Chinese, of course, my mom is a Chinese, for those of you guys that don't know, she's a, uh, Chinese, um, medicinal doctor, acupuncture, and also shaman, okay, so we just always kind of, like, incorporate all of those things together, but hey, that's why I have this here. Anyways, moving forward, so Spirit is clearly saying that, okay, what had to have broken down, I just heard the word immortality, what had to have had what had to have been broken down was not the death of it. It was actually the rebirth of it. It was given a new life. And this is where this immortality word is coming through because it says that although this aspect of this thing or this person or within yourself has gone as far as it can go, it's stretched as far as it can stretch, and it snaps, it breaks, it dies in some way. I heard the word surrender. It's surrendered to the next stage or surrender to the next cycle. It 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 Surrender to the next stage of, of leveling up, of growth or maturity is the words that are coming through. It's giving me a lot of Capricorn vibes. So you guys check Capricorn within your chart. Also Cancer, okay? And actually now that I'm saying this, um, Libra and, and Aries. <laughs> like just, you know, all of them. <laughs> 
but and then also the vertex point sitting in the sign of um leo just keep your eyes on these keep your eyes on those on those um signs where do they rule and who in your life who in your life are you you know because these are the aspects that are really getting shot at so there had to be this massive reckoning there had to be this massive revelation this massive revolution of those aspects totally being blown to smithereens blasting out feeling lost feeling broken and a, a breakdown of the ego maturing up and saying listen now is the time for me to do better now is the time for me to mature now is the time for me to grow up now is the time for me to invest right i'm also seeing someone picking up with the overhaul it's like they understand that this is going to be a burden a responsibility a commitment it, but they are in it for the long haul now. They are going to carry it to the finish line and they're going to not allow any distraction, any noise to infiltrate what is happening here now present. And thank God again to the blowing down. And I understand for some of you guys, you're like, Jess, it has been a tumultuous ass, turbulent journey, not only for me, but a lot for others. And that, and it's so, it can be so defeating but spirit is saying listen if it wasn't for that if it wasn't for that you wouldn't be here and now things are going to be different especially with the lover's card here and the nine of cups things are actively beginning to move forward things are actively beginning to um choose each other not in a way of we're not choosing or building from a broken space anymore we're we're building from a healed space from a mature space from a serious space right it's educated it's informed it's different now so i'm really seeing that now now's the message that is that's coming through now that you've gone through this now that you've experienced this do not make do not repeat the same toxic mistakes of the past this means that the same shit that used to trigger you in the past when someone or something slips up we cannot carry that forward we are not going to do that you have to hold yourself accountability or you have to hold yourself accountable. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. So, like I was saying, um, the mistakes of the past are things that we do not want to repeat in any way, shape, or form. Now, what does this mean? This means, and forgive me for being the voice on the internet that's saying this, because there's a lot of people out there that are promising things that cannot be fulfilled because... I don't know, the power of positivity, I don't know. I don't know, or maybe they've heard it somewhere on a blog, so they just kind of take it and run with it. Um, I'm, I'm always going to be the person that delivers the truth um, and, and doesn't really compromise on that. Authenticity is kind of like what I do. <laughs> that's, just, that's just what I do. That's who I am. So I'm never going to make a promise or say something that is that I can't, that I don't stand by. You know, and if I change my mind or if something changes, then I will speak on that. Anyways, so there is such a thing that Spirit wants to say about making mistakes, right? So moving forward, now that you have this opportunity, now things are the way that they are, now that we've gone through what we've gone through, it's really important and imperative that if you make your mistakes, let it not be something that could have been how do I say this? So spirit is saying that it's one thing to make a mistake if you're ignorant, you know, if you didn't know, right? That's more karmic. That's more faded. That's a lesson that needs to be learned. And we can give ourselves a lot of grace and kindness and compassion with that. It's another thing to make a mistake, a repetitive mistake, knowing the outcome, knowing, actively knowing in your mind I have to do better and then actively choosing not to. That is no longer a mistake anymore, you guys. That's a choice. And Spirit is saying, moving forward, do not make choices from past mistakes. Do not make choices that mirror past mistakes because you can't go, I mean, you can, but if you have a sit down with Spirit, especially with the judgment card, I'm so surprised that this card isn't showing up here. Um, well, you have five of swords here, so <laughs> that says a lot, but, and this is for all of us, you know, this is for all of us. Judgment says, listen, if you were to look into the eyes of God or look into the eyes of the universe or look into the eyes of your higher self and answer the question, you know, did you mean to do that? Did you know that you could do better? And then you chose not to, 
you can lie to yourself. You can lie to the world. You can lie to your business partner. You can lie to your relationship. You can lie to your friends. They may sense something that is inauthentic, the words that is that you're using, Knight of Swords. But you cannot lie to, you know, the higher power. You cannot lie to the higher self. You cannot lie to your intuition because there's something there that says, I knew better, but I, I chose not to do better. And for that reason, you can't hide behind, oh, you know, it was a mistake. You live, you learn, you do better. What's for me will not pass me. You cannot continue to carry that dialogue or that conversation because then it becomes a lie. Then it becomes an untruth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, yes, what's for you won't pass you, but that also means that you have to kind of rise up and do what is right for you based upon where spirit is calling you, and that does require a hefty burden, a hefty responsibility, and accountability, right? There it is. You guys saw me shuffling the judgment card. I'm not making that up. Judgment card. Let's see if it'll focus. I'm working with my regular camera right now. King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So normally sometimes the judge the judgment card can be tough. It can be tough. Um, but in this case, it feels really good. It feels really good. It feels, again, so same with the, I actually feel if there's anything that feels difficult here between the judgment and the lovers, definitely the lovers is because it it's really highlighting the power of your choices um, and the fact that, again, when you know better, you do better. So if that's truly the case, then do better, you know? So Spirit is saying this week moving forward, listen, you want to shift into, um, I just heard, uh, prof, 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 what was that word that Spirit, prolif, like prolific, but it's not, it's not profanity, it's, it's something that's like, it expands, 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 like a big balloon, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And with that, it's like, Spirit is saying this week, really take your time because there's a lot of energy here that wants to move fast. We have Knight of Swords here, my loves. We have Eight of Wands. Let the circumstances um, around you shift and move really quickly because, again, something someone has been broken down over there, it could be you. I want to say it's going to be like 25, 27% of those of you guys who are watching, I have over 200,000 people subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I'm telling you, it's literally like 22, 25% of you are going to be the ones delegating. The rest of you guys are going to be hearing information. You're going to be hearing news. That's a big chunk, right? So as these things come in, I really want you guys to stand and stand in your personal power and realize that you don't have to make a quick choice, a quick decision, but something really broke down over there. And you guys know what I'm talking about. There was a breakdown within a person. There's a breakdown in a career. There's a breakdown in your job. You got fired. Unemployment ran out. Ran out. Something major fucking happened. And I would not be surprised if it was more than one thing because the energy of number three is still showing up. So I'm, it's almost like three major things would have happened. So it's like the death of this, the breakdown of the job, the selling of the house, right? So there's three major things. What are those three major things for you or they, okay? Because there's this really strong cross. It's like, I just, I just heard where the roads connect, where the paths, you know, come together. And, and then you hear, oh my Ten of Wands. I mean, I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. This is literally, and then also on the opposite side, we have Knight of Wands. So this is a, a burden, the responsibility, the heavy, the weight of it. That is karmic. That is fated. So the crossroads that you're at that's going to be happening this week, you actually, and I teach this within the Sacred Circle Tarot School. So there are circumstances, the, the energy around you will bring you to a fated point. But it will be you... The choices that you make that ultimately kind of seal the deal or cement what will happen based upon what you decided to do. So it's not your choice that is fated. You do have free will. Um, but when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it's this fixed point that happens, especially as I'm looking at these charts. Um, you know, so yeah, it's these fixed points. Mm-hmm. Yep, the vertex point, sitting in Leo, fixed. 
unmoving fixed fire then we have Jupiter and Saturn both of them sitting in Aquarius this is fixed karmic points within our world within our communities within our humanity um, with our own advancements our own you know developments like personal developments that's air though so that's all in the mind it can really mess like it can really scramble you sometimes but you have to ground yourself meanwhile <laughs> what are we grounding ourselves in Taurus not in what we see in our tangible forms although we want to but in our faith right we we ground and root ourselves within our faith we are not holding on to um superficial things anymore this thing if i buy this it's going to solve my problems if i'm going to do this it's going to be something about the way the planets are fixed right now is saying and I keep, I keep hearing like King of Swords, right? King of Swords and Ace of Swords. So it's it's very harsh. It feels very punishing, but it's like it's meant to strip a lot of people away from the superficial. <sighs> so that they can really embed and 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 plant themselves in a higher because this is where we are evolving right and the illusion that was around us meaning like oh we're all safe and then all of a sudden now everyone's like what is safety we like literally the illusion is 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 dissolving right or our government is the best government or everybody is treated the same it's like all these illusions these ideas are slowly dissolving away there's a lot of people that understood it sensed it felt it knew it but not everybody, not everyone knew, not everyone understood it, and not everyone wanted to see it. So if this is happening globally within our government, glo globally within our world, imagine this also happening within your intimate life and others, in others more intimate lives. That can be a tough pill to swallow. It's a truth. It's a truth. A day of reckoning. A day of revelation. So having said that, moving forward, you guys, this fixed karmic choices and decisions that is that we're having here you want to move make them from the heart you want to make them from a space where you're it's some of you guys you're, you're afraid of being vulnerable but you're learning okay yeah you're learning give and take six of pentacles and page of wands you're learning give and take you're learning how to speak up and be brave in different ways you're learning how to articulate yourself express yourself not in the same way that you've always once done, but because what you are facing now is greater than it's ever been. That is the truth. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, I do want to say that this message is sponsored by The Coldest Water. Um, they're amazing. They're great. They keep my ice water cold I, like an iced. I'm not even kidding. I left that, the cup in my car overnight. I live in Florida. It gets hot. It was <laughs> in a hot car and that ice still stays ice so I'll let the um and I don't know about you this is actually one of the reasons why I signed up for the sponsorship with them was because I am obsessed with ice water ever since I was in New Orleans I just the way that I view ice and water has just completely shifted <laughs> like it's like the the highest reward for me like I just it's like the biggest luxury so having said that I love the coldest water because it does keep my water the coldest and I'm all about flow I'm all about you know move taking care of your body as much as you possibly can and you want to stay hydrated I know that some of you guys like things room temperature I am ice water girl all the way right now okay wow um, the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the apothecary. The apothecary, my apothecary, is completely open, completely restocked. Um, this is where you'll find your fixed candles, your fixed um, fixed candles, intention oils, custom oils, herbs. Literally, I'm going to be very, very soon one of the, uh, what's the word, highest quality herb provider on the internet and extensive very extensive um selection i'm very very excited and very very proud of that you guys are not going to believe what i'm pulling so um we're just or we me and my friend oh my god me and my friend are working together um just finalizing some some last minute things and then we're just going to be shoot right up to the top so go ahead and also, shipping times have drastically imp imp improved since the last major improvement, which is so exciting for me. Oh, my God! 
Listen, dudes, I gotta say this right now, my spiritual dudes and dudettes. So the next card that just came out is exp Expansion and Strength. That is literally my key, my key points, man. My key points. So if you need herbs, you guys, for your own fixed candles, for your own oils, for your own, um, to anoint, uh, objects or to create bath soaks or ritual soaks or herb mix. I'm going to also break them down into different piles, which I also have within my shop, but the, what I offer is going to expand drastically. It already has. So go ahead and um, hit the links down below, my loves, if you need to stock up. What I recommend during this time, and the next card is focus, but I want to show you guys these other cards. What I highly recommend right now is the Higher Wisdom candle. I've been gravitating towards this candle like there is no other. I'm just, it's a vibe. Um, and then also with everything that's been going on, Lately, with what I'm picking up within the astrology charts, I just feel the level of discernment and merging with the divine, merging with the higher self is so essential. You do not want your third eye or your crown chakra to be disordered or discombobulated in any way, shape, or form. It is possible to channel messages without you sitting in a meditative state. You're going to want to increase and develop and strengthen this and, and strengthen that tool because as you're moving forward, I'm not going to lie to you guys, things are going to continue to be a little bit more chaotic, okay? Things are going to be very swinging up and down. It's just the way of the world. I'm not going to lie to you and pretend like, oh, next year is going to be better. What is better anyways? So we want to strengthen your third eye, your crown chakra, um, and the higher wisdom candle is fixed for that using very, very special herbs. I do not share and list them on my website any longer. You're not putting them on your body, so you shouldn't be concerned with allergies or anything like that. I have mine burning. It is what it is. The other thing that is I'm seeing for you guys, um, a lot of you guys are struggling, I understand. With money, finances, businesses, and resources, there is a money fixed candle for that. Um, I would grab it for you, but it's right over there. Um, they are fixed by me. And then also, some of you guys, highly, I highly recommend the Banish fixed candle because you, with, with now that Pluto... Saturn, Jupiter, um, and Mercury are now direct. We want to quickly, you still have time, you want to absorb any lingering past, present energies that might be sucking the life out of you, sucking the life out of abundance. When these planets are moving forward, they're the heaviest planets in our, in our, in our solar system. They are highly magical, very, very powerful, and can be tough to work with. You're going to want to have all of the elements, all of the energies working on behalf of you, not against you. And it is very important that you do do a refresh every six months or as often as you need, three to six months, sometimes once a year, in order to reset and refresh and absorb any lingering um, obstacles, opposition, anything like that as witches. Um, as practitioners, as spiritual people, we all are doing this. And if you guys are doing this and you need to be reminded, do it again. Okay? Or it's time to do it. It's that time of the year. Okay? So there's that. Also, you could do the Healing Waters Candle. That one is phenomenal. Deep Waters Candle, I know that a lot of you guys are really working with that. You know, these are candles that are available in my shop. I will say, and I've been see hearing this from certain um, people lately, that they, with the deep waters candle, it's this really deep purp, um, blue, like indigo, mm, is it indigo? I would say very like deep blue candle fixed with specific intention. The herbs that I put in that, I if you feel called to do a cathartic emotional cleanse now, I would do it. Follow your intuition, follow your discernment. But for the majority of the, for the majority of you guys. I don't necessarily recommend it because it can flood in a lot. It can flood in a lot. And I would never I would never tell someone or promote something and be like, oh yeah, you should buy this or you should get this or you should reserve this or you should work with this because I'm trying to profit off of you. I will tell you clearly, now is not the time unless you feel absolutely called. Deep Waters Candle, I'm telling you guys, I it's not that... It's just fixed for a specific intention. And the way that the charts are pulled right now and the way that a lot of you guys are feeling, I do not highly recommend it because it can flood you with a lot of emotions. And 
there's a lot going on right now it, with these planets kind of shifting and the doors opening up and then with um, Neptune retrograde, the waters can get really, really heavy. The energetic waters can be really, really heavy. So having said that, if you need to, it is there for you. But it's the Healing Waters candle, the white candle or the banished candle, the black candle that I highly, highly recommend that I feel is a very good powerful cleanse but i don't see it making anybody i don't want to say vulnerable but it just it just feels energetically better um on my love and romance candle i recommend for those that kind of that need it a little refresh a little spike um but also you guys make sure that you are subscribed to the newsletter because when i'm telling you i have so much stuff coming in bahati life apothecary is about to expand hardcore um, I have more people now helping me with, um, wrapping, wrapping my, wrapping my candles, wrapping the oils after I'm done working with them. Um, so that makes shipping far easier, far better. Thank God. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And also it is available international. Keep in mind that there are some rules and regulations when it comes to COVID, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on the internet, but I just, just did. Um, so just keep your eye on for that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the last cards that I pulled. So we have Starry Night, which rules acceptance, Wild Rose Fairy, that rules love, and also Fire Spirit, which rules energy. This just literally seals the deal for me. I mean, this, to me, rules... It acts, it acts like such a beautiful blessing to everything that is that I've already said, everything that it is that I've already been sensing. Wild Rose Fairy, to me, love is so abundant. It feels good, and sometimes it, it's tough. And that is literally the energy of the rose. It's fragrant, it's beautiful, but it also will prick you if you're not careful, and or if you're not careful with it. Like, if you're not holding it safely, if you're not guarding it, you know? Um, with this, though, you guys, there are some things that I'm seeing that you are accepting not as an act of giving up but in surrendering to the highest spirit like the highest self the highest form of love that's what it is that i'm seeing when i'm seeing the word acceptance it's not having to change because you know that it doesn't need to be changed any more than it already has you're accepting it as it is and something about that is so powerful so life-changing and that's where energy builds so I just, I love these cards, man. I feel that they're very, very powerful. I feel energy building. I'm telling you guys, I was tired before I started this reading, and I'm completely energized. In fact, I'm thinking that I might, I still have to do the break the chain oils. Um, I'm finishing up and finalizing those for my clients. They were custom reserved bottles. For those of you guys that have some things, some obstacles now that Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter... And Mercury, yeah, Courage. I mean, this card has been showing up a lot lately. Are all direct. There's some really tough ba um, like battles that you guys have been fighting. And these oils, when you anoint them on yourself, especially before your meditation or during the day, they help you to break through that. <clears throat> okay? Yeah, anoint your candles, anoint your petitions, all those things. A little drop will do. Will do you good. Trust me on that. It doesn't take a whole lot. And you guys know when I am focused and I'm working at my altar, you know, it is a force to be reckoned with. I do know that about myself. I do know that about myself. All right, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or you can visit me at info at bahadilife.com. Please be mindful and aware of spammers in the comments, especially talking about WhatsApp and offering readings. I literally have my hands full when it comes to the apothecary and also when it comes to me writing my 2022 astro and intuitive guide book, which I started on. So yay for me, <laughs> yay for us. But um, yeah, there's no way that I'm doing readings at this time um, and probably won't for the next year. So just be mindful of that. Until then, I do want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I do want to invite you to, to visit my home base where you will find me flitting around like a busy butter, 
butterfly or bee at bahadilife.com. You can see the shop, bahadilife.com slash shop, where you can have access to all of the magic, all the things that you would need in order to manifest all of your highest intentions. Work with me one-on-one, -on -one, work with me directly, or just fill your fill your card up and have some magical goodies shipped out to you from my apothecary right into yours. Until then, I'm sending you guys all my love. I'll see you next time. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.